Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in this uh, to this video here this week. Um, so I've had to re I've had to uh, re-upload this video several times. I've actually had to re-record this video several times. So now I've got it streamlined. I know exactly what I want to say. Of course, these were connectivity issues. It wasn't me personally. But anyway, so the first brewery I'm going to review, I'm not going to do an actual beer review because um, it's early in the morning. I'm not going to drink beer right now. Um, I'm going to review a brewery. Now, this is a brewery that uh, that I discovered. It's very funny how that happened. The head brewer, John Way, and the, the proprietor of the joint actually gave me a free pint and a sticker while we were driving, stopped at a stoplight, handed it to me because he, he saw all my brewery stickers in the back of my car. Funny how that works. I got another brewery. So my initial overall experience, okay, as I mentioned before, uh, brewery tap rooms can be intimidating to first-time beer drinkers, especially craft brew drinkers. And, um, you know, a lot of times they're pretentious. The people there aren't necessarily friendly. They're very serious. They're there to serve you the beer. And then you, you know, you, you, they tell you about the beer. It's very, uh, I don't know. It's very like, um, almost like a science. It's like this, 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 and this. Okay, get out. You know, um, of course, like, thank God I haven't had that many experiences, but I've had a few. This place was like a coffee shop. It was like a cafe attached to a brew house. It was fantastic. The, the staff were, were really friendly and helpful. It was like one barmaid, if I can call her that, a brew slinger. Very pretty, young, helpful. Um, she was pointing me to all her favorite brews, and I love that. Um, and she was telling me about the beers in depth. She knew a great deal about it, which is great. Anytime that the, the, the bartender knows a bit about the beer, of course, that would obviously you want that to be a, a prerequisite. But... Um, yeah, the beer names were were really creative. The beer styles, there was one that stood out to me. It was the the uh, raspberry, and then there was an Irish red that that had a. It was a really hoppy Irish red, and I thought that was great. All the brews, I'm not going to go into detail on them, a lot of them, but all the brews are well balanced. They taste great. They have a distinctive home brew taste. This brew house is 3.5 barrel system, which means they brew about 100 gallons per batch, and uh, it's. But just a nice mixture of, of hometown, local birthed, the, the all the, the townspeople were fun to talk with. I met two of them, Dana and Mike. They were fantastic. Uh, they were really excited to have someone come down um, from Longmont. You know, they're like, well, what are you doing in this neck of the woods? And welcome to birthed and welcome to City Star Brewing. And John Way, the head brewer, came out and said, thanks for coming down. Oh, this is awesome. I went a second time. Uh, so far I've had their, I've tried uh, most of them. I had like a little taster. The Dead or Alive is fantastic. That's a double IPA. The Night Watchman Stout, the, uh, the, the American Pale Ale, uh, I think that's like Revolver, was a Revolver I think is what it was called, Revolver Pale Ale. They had a six shooter IPA, that was fantastic. They had a blonde, they had, um, a honey, a honey oak, um, Ale. That was really interesting, I thought. But I, I really enjoyed the raspberry. I really enjoyed the uh, Bandit Brown Ale they had. That's the one they won their awards for. Uh, one thing I'll make a note of here that I really appreciated was not only, you know, the, everyone was super friendly and fun to talk to and, and they're all local and the, they're all craft brew enthusiasts. So they're really excited about it. But the menus were easy to read. They went into detail with the hops, the barley, um, even as far as how many hops additions were in a boil or, or how many hops additions were in a boil and the times at which he added them in the boil. That was awesome. I've never seen a brewery do that tops to you guys um but just the whole the, the overall experience they've got potlucks they've got live like live bands they've got a home brewers um club that meets there um they've got it all uh it's it's clean it smells great because you're right next to the brew house literally there's a door separating them um it's really quaint. It looks great. It's right on the main drag. It's really centrally located for anyone in the front range who wants to get to it from Fort Collins, Greeley, Longmont, Loveland, you name it, it's there. Um, and it's just a great find. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I recommend it to everyone and I hope everyone gets a chance to go there. I know I'm going to be bringing, dragging some of my friends down there. Um, man, was it good. I, I loved it. It was a great experience for me. I felt like I was cared for, that I was appreciated. 
And uh, that's what I really like in a brewery. So tune in next week. I'm going to actually review a beer. I might do a local one. I'm not sure. I might do a, an out-of-state. I'm going to try to do a, a nice mixture of the two. I'm also going to be reviewing a brewery tour. I'll try to take brewery tours and review those and tell you about those. I might combine those with the brewery, the brewery review itself. I'm not sure. But again, leave comments and, and uh, suggestions below. Be sure to like and subscribe. All that mumbo-jumbo. Man, I love beer so much. You guys rock. Tune in next week uh, for my actual beer review. I'm going to pour the beer. I'm going to drink the beer. I'm going to show you the color. I'm going to go through all the different notes and the tastes and the flavors and the textures and all that good stuff. Next week, I'll see you there. High Country Brew Review. You guys rock. Thanks so much. Peace. <laughs>